Okay, here we are. Two. Yeah, it looks like we found our first new cave. So, oh, okay, so I have to bring them to the onion. Okay. Uh, yes, confirm. Oh my god, dude, I'm such an idiot. All right, Ochi, take him out. Pop, pop, pop. Go, 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 go. It's me. Huh? I gotta help out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Vlusel and welcome back to Pikmin 4, part 2. In the last episode, we started the game and uh, completed day 1, saved Colin and Shepard. And now we uh, know what we're doing. We fixed up the ship a little bit, still running, but not quite uh, able to fly up into the atmosphere yet. But uh, yeah, so we know some locations have other SOS signals and so we're about to get on that. We found our first onion for our red Pikmin. But yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go on and talk with Colin. He seems to really want to talk with us. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field. So check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Uh, not now. I do want to talk with Shepard and see what she's got to say. Alright, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. So come find me. Okay, so it looks like... This whole area right here. Oh, wrong button. So yeah, this whole area. Oh. oh, we're getting a new app. Okay. <laughs> All right, status report. Interesting. Oh, yo, cool. Okay, so we can check this at any time. All right. But so yeah, I think this. Uh, what was this called? The rescue command post. This is our main base of operations. This is where we fly out to the other areas from. Okay, that's cool. So we have a little hub area. Nice. You okay. Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. You're the rising star of the Rescue Corps, that's for sure. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. Still, I have no doubt you'll manage. How can I be so certain? Because I have two eyes and I can see your potential plain as day. I hired you, didn't I? Alright, now, before we head out with Colin, there are still a lot of Peloposies around here. Let me see how many Pikmin we have. Yeah, we only have nine reds, so let me go ahead and uh, get some more. And then we will head out. So I'll be right back. Hello. Oh, what's happening? Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent Pro oh, to prevent unnecessary loss. Oh, okay. So we can only have 20 of each type. I do remember uh, one thing I know is that we can only have three types. We can have 100 out in the field, but we can only have three types at a time. But I didn't know about this, so we can only have 20. Is it only for this area? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And so I think we're good to go. We're all set. We got Ochi with us. Everything's good, dude. I'm excited. Let's head out. Yep, all set over here. SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Alright, yeah, let's explore, man. Which area would you like to explore? Alright, we got choices. Okay, that's very nearby. Sun Speckled Terrace. Alright, so we have rescues, treasures, and onions. Okay, there's a, there's a lot to find in this game, dude. I'm so excited. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. All right, man, let's go. Watch out. Oh, the onion's going too? Oh, interesting. So that tip right there, there's a limit we, we, we just learned on the, the onion, but have your onion absorb flarlic to increase that limit. Dude, that is really, really cool. Okay, nice. Okay, so it's tied to progression, the, the how many you can have. That is very cool. I like that, actually.
All right, we're here. And wow, man, this game is so pretty and beautiful. Dude, that was so beautiful. Hello? The music is so good for this game. The piano, though. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on. I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. All right, there's our day meter. No ball. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue co rescue command post before dark. Uh, copy that. So this is the appropriate time. Nice, we're counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the Onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the Onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the... Uh, so, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm messing up now. First episode, I aced it. Take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Okay, here we are. Dude. This is the Sun Speckled Terrace. Alright, yeah, let's get our guys up. And so... Why does it say Ancient Arches? If you need to complete a task... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. Alright, uh, let's open up our map here. Wow, dude, this area is big. Oh my god. First area, and this is very, very big. Looks like a lot of verticality, too. But okay. So, one thing I know. Oh, sorry. Just bumped my desk. But one thing I noted from uh, what Shepard said is the area's local time. So, maybe each area, like, the day will run out quicker. So we've got things here. Let me take out this little dwarf bowl, board. Should one shot it? Nice. Beautiful. All right, let's you go help him out. And also, we have these things. Let's go and get these. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. It should be able to find many, or I should be able to find many applications for it. Okay, interesting. Come on. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Nice, okay. So, we'll leave this squad of guys working on that. But, uh, we do need to... I, yeah, I do see a baseball over there. <laughs> We do need some guys with us. So yeah, like I said in the last episode, man, if you guys aren't familiar with Pikmin, multitasking is insanely crucial in this game. Getting the most out of your day and getting done, getting as many things done as you can is very, very important. So let's let these, oh, these guys are done. Man, you guys were quick, okay. Oh, that's uh, another thing I noticed. Whenever a task is completed, it actually pops up a little notification for us, so that's very, very much appreciated. So we can't hop up this ledge yet, so we'll have to come back to that baseball later. But yeah, let's just explore around. We do gotta work quick, though. That daytime meter is already hitting that second dot. Yeah, look at this, man. We're in some kind of garden under a massive bench. Let's see. Oh. Come in, V. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Oh, yo, he has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y, oh, hold down Y to open actions, and then use L to select a search command. To begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Okay. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers, officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dandori before, V? How to explain? Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, hold down Y, actions, and com command Oji to sniff out our missing comrades. Alright, so let's hold this down. Oh, we get a little command wheel, so we can disband or command. Okay. We can also switch! Alright, so 
it says between Ochi and us. So maybe it is just us and Ochi as captains. So let's go and command Ochi. Yes, confirm. Uh, so ask your buff to sniff out any castaways. When you get stuck, ask Ochi to find things for you. Or you can find treasure. Alright. So let's go ahead and ask him to find castaways. Nice, he's got someone. Alright, let's move. Let's go ahead and kill this dwarf full borb. Send some guys there. And let's throw some people here. Uh, let's try and get Ochi on here too. So we'll get a couple of you guys here. Okay, so we're, we're getting material from the sand walls too. Okay. Okay, we'll get we'll keep those guys on that. Oh, it's done. <laughs> nice job. Alright, so we've got guys going back to the onion. Oh, we have eggs here. Will these give us sap? Oh, they do. Nice. Alright, come back. No, don't take it all for yourself. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates the growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. No. They really are mysterious creatures. All right, so let's get these two. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have two flowers. Let's go back and get our whole group. And we'll try and get all of our guys to uh, be flower people. Man, I'm loving this camera angle, dude. Like, and I love the option, too. We can have the traditional or this, but I'm honestly preferring this so much. You really get a nice cinematic view of everything. Let's try and get all our guys to drink up. Nice, I think we got everyone. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, no. Drink, drink, please. Nice. But yeah, I'm loving this so much, and I love how expansive the areas are. Yeah, it looks like we found our first new cave. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Alright, so let me go ahead and uh, command Ochi. Let's just double check if there is someone inside there. Uh, yes, there is. Okay. Uh, there is still a lot to explore around here, but let's just go ahead and head inside the cave for now. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for SS dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated, acclimatized to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Alright, it's hinting at a new type of Pikmin. I think we all know which one it is. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. So, oh, okay, so I have to bring them to the Onion, okay. Uh, yes, confirm. Oh wait, what? Here we go, last frost cavern, sub level one. Did it, did I misunderstood that? <laughs> I hope we can take out our Pikmin from the Beagle. I'm pretty sure we can. I think that's what Colin said. All right, here we are, last frost cavern. A lot of stuff up ahead. Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Oh, right, yeah, for sure. But, uh, let me see. Can I please get Pikmin? Oh, my God. I think I messed up, guys. <laughs> all right, all right. We're on our own. We, we, we gotta live with... Oh, no. Here we go, here we go. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Dude, I completely misunderstood. All right, yeah, yeah. We're on our own. We got this, Ochi. Oh my god, dude. I'm such an idiot. All right, Ochi, take him out. Bop, bop, bop. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we've got an opening here. Nice, okay. Uh, let me actually see if there is a way for us to get out of here. All right, well, yeah. Looks like I really messed up. We are... Quite literally on our own. What's this? That's not treasure. Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to count, contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. 
All right, well, let's, <laughs> let me grab everything here with uh, Ochi. We do have a treasure here, and I'm freaking so stupid. Daddy, chill. God, I didn't understand it at all. That's a compass. It looks like an upgrade, too. Oh, yo, look at that. I see uh, Ice Pikmin there. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. It's me. Huh? Come to me, come to me. All right, they're not listening. Ochi, go. Come back, come back, come back. Don't get frozen. No, Ochi. Oh my God. Can Ochi die? What? He's frozen. Quick, call him with the whistle. Make sure he's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. These Ice Pikmin aren't listening to me. Go. Oh my God, I got hit too. Move, move, move. All right, Ochi just attack from behind. Pause on that. Oh, I gotta help out somehow. Perfect. All right, we got it. <laughs> Look at these guys. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says. The ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water though, they really don't like it. Okay, interesting. So they float in ice and they can freeze it too, but they don't like getting sprayed. Interesting. Their bodies are made of ice. Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. All right, nice, dude. We got new Pikmin, the Ice Pikmin. This is so cool. And I do know about the other new variant, the Glow Pikmin too. I'm excited to meet them as well. So let's carry this back and hopefully we have enough to... Actually, yeah, we should. We have Ochi. So we should have enough to carry the compass back. Oh yeah, and another thing for people who don't know, uh, when we're in the caves, the daytime meter doesn't actually uh, progress. So it kind of pauses time for a little bit. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't be the case for this game because uh, it would have been cool to, you know, have to hurry up in the caves as well. Because, like, you come up from the cave and it's nighttime. Now you got to hurry back. But it's whatever. It's like how it was in Pikmin 2, and I didn't mind it then. But I do know that we do have the gimmick of, uh, or not the gimmick, the mechanic of going out at nighttime, <clears throat> at nighttime, which is very cool. And we don't have enough. All right. Good to know. All right, so hopefully we can come across some more ice Pikmin here. What the heck is that? Are you using the radar map? Uh, what's up? Oh, yo, look at that. Some kind of radish? What? Oh, wait, that's an onion, right? Maybe. Oh, we can push this too. Don't have enough Pikmin to do that. Let me look around. Oh, what is this? Is that paint? Yeah, that is a paint. <laughs> uh, a paint capsule or whatever. Paint tube. Uh, yeah, that's an onion. Okay. Uh, hold on one second, guys. Let's go ahead and get this real quick. Hello there. Oh, more Pikmin. Nice. Literally looks like a garlic bulb. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Yeah, it is really pale. Um, but this may be just uh, the Ice Pikmin's look of the onion. Let's go ahead and dig that out, though. There we go. Okay. We just need two more. And we should be able to get the painting back, too. Nice. Great job. All right, so once we get all our guys back here, we should have enough to pick up the compass as well. Nice, here we go. Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. All right. Let me go ahead and get this as well. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay. Nice, okay, we got the compass. So we'll see if that maybe is an upgrade for us as well. Maybe add some kind of feature to us. You're pretty good at collecting energy, thank you. I do like this uh, auto lock-on thing for the single stick control. I don't know if there's gyro, like how they had it for Pikmin 3 Deluxe, but uh, I'm hoping there is. I really like the, gy the gyro controls as well, but I'm liking the single stick too. It auto locks on to targets and whatnot. Makes it much easier. Let's see, I think we need, yeah, we need 10 to push this. We also need to bring back those raw materials. We also have this thing here. Is that Nochi? Huh, okay. Looks like an Ice Pikmin only job. Mom. Even Nochi can't chew his way through this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop this for now. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. 
Just like that. Frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. All right, Ochi, go. All right, this is going to take a take a little bit. We do see a guy there, too. New officer we can rescue. Nice, nice. Good job. All right, so in the meantime, I will get all of these guys on that. And we'll get Ochi on... Actually, we'll, we'll take Ochi with us with this guy. We found a castaway. Hurry and check the vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Alright, let's get Ochi on him. God, dude, I, I can't express how how much fun I'm having, man. Already, I miss this style of gameplay, dude. The multitasking, just collecting stuff with your Pikmin. I miss this so much, man. I'm so glad there's a new game, dude. So very glad. And I, I couldn't be happier to say it's so much fun and living up to the hype. It's so good right now. You did it! Let's take a look and see what their ID badge can tell us. Watch out. Hey, this is... Alright, this is Russ. Uh, he's also from Gaia, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Alright, so this is a guy we need. Love the interesting look he's got. <laughs> oh, thank the stars he was, he's alright! This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits. And the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during his during this rescue mission. Nice, right, so we found the scientists. We just need to find three more guys. We found Russ, the rescue corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Okay, bye bye. Oh, where are you going? Yo, this way. Nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got everything in the last frost cavern. And it only had one sub-level. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head out. So, yeah, we got the scientists. And if I'm not mistaken, I do remember there being a mechanic to where we... There's, like, skill trees so we can upgrade ourselves. And I think the scientist is for that purpose. Uh, return to the surface. Pikmin currently outside your squad. We'll come home with you. Okay, so we don't have to call everyone back when we're down here. There we go, we rescued Russ from this cave, from cave. We got the refreshing goo, director of destiny, and killed, or got seven creatures, which netted us 11 sparkling. Okay, nice man, nice. Investigation complete. We 100%ed this cave too. Hey, nice. And I think that... I'm sure I synchronized your clock, V, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Okay, so time does pass. Just slower. Okay. So that answers my uh, concern, I guess. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Okay, so, oh yeah, right, here we go. No. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Florlick. That's what it was, okay. We just read about that. If we bring Florlick to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. Nice, okay. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. Nice, okay, okay. So we have, yeah, we have 10. Okay, okay. So we have 10 Ice Pikmin and 20 Reds. So I think this is good. We're going to uh, keep this the same. Nice, man. All right, we got our squad of guys. And so we're not even halfway done with the day yet. So we're by the cave. I'm going to take a look at the map. I don't think there's anything different we can do now. But let's see, what are these over here? Let's just explore, man. So I think the purple things are enemies. We're going to use our Ice Pikmin. Nice, look at that. Alright, so we do have a little pathway over here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, okay, so they are enemies. Okay, good to know. Ooh, what is this? 
Uh, Ochi, you go too. Pick that up. And we have a fiery blowhog. Okay. Can we freeze you? Oh, we can't. Okay. Let's just go ahead and be safe. I'm gonna send the reds on him. Take one, take one, take one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, good job. All right, so it looks like the dirt mound was some raw material. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> you guys are feeling left out. I got you. Plenty of work for everyone. So I don't think we can get that. Yeah, I think we need yellows for this. <laughs> All right, guys, desperately trying. You, you can't, man. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Oh, there's some guys here. Oh, there's one guy here. What the heck? I gotta be really careful with uh, our guys here. I know she's coming back. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I don't want to leave any man behind. No one will be left behind in my playthrough. I promise you. I promise you all that. I'm gonna eat my words, aren't I? All right, so here we are. Ochi, do your thing. Oh, I see another floor look over there. I don't know how we're gonna get to that, but oh my god, I keep pressing minus. I think I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom, bro. So we have uh, a root thing that we pulled to Ochi in the first episode, but we gotta do it from the other side. Going up here, we have some more vases. Let's go and break it from here. Nice, some more material. Oh, and a treasure, nice. Looks like a grape. We got sugar grubs here too. Oh, it, it froze. Don't just stand there. Now's your chance. All right, got it. Oh, wait. What the heck? Those are sheer grubs, right? So if we destroy or kill frozen sheer grubs, they pop and give nectar? Interesting. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay. That leads us to the floor lake. Nice. We see our first uh, adult bull borb. I don't want to mess with him just yet. I don't think we can get this flower look. I think we need yellows for this. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I wonder if there is there like a swarm button? I really like the swarm feature from the last games. I don't know if there is one here. All right, so it doesn't look like we have a swarm feature. I've been pressing buttons, but we're just going to have to be throwing Pikmin. Let, let me go back and get our full squad of guys. Actually, that's going to waste time. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's do this. You want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Press ZR to fix your auto target lock and keep your aim focused on one target. Oh, nice, cool, okay. It makes targeting nimble enemies or aiming while you're in motion a snap. Nice, so they, they fixed that uh, issue. We can now target ever since the last game, moving around with single stick controls. I mean, it wasn't really much of an issue, just a little inconvenience. But right, okay, so we go on target. Guy's pretty big, be careful. We got him, man. Go, 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 go. Take him out, take him out. All right, come back, come back, come back. All right. Uh, oh, he's going back. Okay. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the eyes are the weakness. Let's go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 come on, come on, go, go. No, I lost an ice pick, but no. What? All right, move, move, move. He's almost frozen. Lock on, lock on, lock on. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Perfect. Nice, we got him, we got him. God, we lost lost one poor soul, man. Moment of silence for our lost friend. You won't be forgotten. So we have this right here. I think we can knock this down. I told you. Just a hunch. Nice. Oh, what the heck? Uh, the gyro is on for a second. Huh, weird. But, so we have those guys taking that back. Let's go ahead and get some guys demolishing this. Oh, we have the root there, actually. That'll be a nice shortcut. I should have pulled that. I'll just leave these guys to do that. It is getting close. It is getting close. We gotta, we gotta make sure everyone's here, actually. <laughs> I'm so conflicted, dude. Uh, yeah, it's getting close. Okay. I don't know if we... If what, like, the red is nighttime? Okay, so that's done. I'll just let these guys get everything. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So they have their own little shortcut. Let me just make sure where they're going is safe. Uh, yes, they're fine. Okay, they're fine. All right, so with these guys, let me see if I can get this uh, root. But yeah, I don't know if, if like once it hits that red, that's nighttime. Or if in the red is when the countdown begins. Let's go ahead and pull this for now. Oh man, that is really slow. Okay, okay. Let me hurry back. Let me hurry back. Oh, I... This is so cool, man. This is so freaking hype, man. I love this. God, I love this. Nice, we got the clock. 
Saturday. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Okay, there's our area. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Alright, alright. Yep, yep. I know there's four over there. Yes! Uh, oh, nice. The pot of plant was dug up. Alright, so everything... Yeah, everyone should be safe over there. Let's just head back for now. So we still have plenty of time. This is just the urgent time of day. Let's move, let's move. We got Ochi with us too. Let's see what we can do with four guys. We still have a good amount of time, actually. You know what? Let's just head back. Let's, let's be safe. Let's be safe. I don't want to be risky here on our second day. Here we go. Nine. Eight. Come on, come on. You guys got it. Let's try and get some more guys on you. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nice, man. We got it. Got everyone here. Nothing beats that freaking rush when the timer comes up, man. Whew. That's day two. And we rescued Russ. Yeah, I completely forgot about this guy. Let's see what we got. We got refreshing. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a lot. So we got the refreshing goo, director of destiny, lesser mock bottom, and temporal mechanism. Nice, man. All right. And so, yeah, we sadly lost one red, but we got Ice Pikmin Man, new type of Pikmin. And so we've done 13% of the Sun Speckled Terrors. Let's see what we got to say. Hi. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. Hee hee hee. Of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. Aww. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Yamo? Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you? Copy ya. Hee hee! Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin! Not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable, and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Uh, huh. To put it simply, the more of this material you collect, the more inventions I can whip up to aid your, in your search. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building that and building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ! I knew bringing along a material scientist would be a key to be key to our success. I'm so sorry, guys. It's early in the morning. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual. Now that you're here, nice. No, okay, so with Russ. He can, he said, other building needs, so we might be able to build more things at our home base. That's really exciting, dude. I'm glad we got Russ, and we're at 651 Sparklium, too. Nice, man, let's go. Here we go, day three. Wait, is it just me? Or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? Yeah, he is bigger. There we go, so I was right. The ball. That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. <laughs> Love these animations, dude. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's coming to his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Us. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. 
Huh, yo, look at that, look at that little emote there. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. Alright, here we go, skills. From the looks of it, Ochi's ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Alright, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. Alright, man. We got more. I now call the strategy meeting strategy meeting to order. First things first. Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Hehe, <laughs> it will be my absolute pleasure. Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to, tra to transform any raw material collected in the field to into all-purpose clay. Hmm, okay. So we can build bridges anywhere, right? With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Nice. Dude, that's really cool. Excellent, of course. Or, of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material, and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Hello? Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. And don't forget about our mi missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Vianochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Dude, this is so cool, man. So many new things. We can upgrade things, build with raw material. We can collect raw material now. I love that. Collecting stuff. And freaking Ochi is massive now. Dude, there's a part of me that misses small Ochi, but wow. Instantly grew after one day. But yeah, so I see that up there. We have three pup drives, I think that is. Or Ochi things. But yeah, so it looks like each day will be one episode because uh plus the caves too if we have a cave in that episode that puts in some extra time in an episode so yeah i think it's appropriate each day will be an episode we are at 50 minutes close to our time limit of an hour but uh we'll go on and wrap up here we'll start up on the next episode with the new day but uh yeah did quite a lot this episode found ice pikmin found russ and uh just discovered a whole bunch of new stuff man this game is so much fun so cool and so I can't wait to keep playing more, man. And so with that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And then, while you're at it, why not subscribe for more videos just like this. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.